Shadowlands is out tonight, so let's go and have a look at all the different classes you can play in World of Warcraft. So, this is more of a first look slash casual guide for beginners on helping you decide which class you want to level in Shadowlands. So, we've got Death Knight, Demon Hunter, Druid, Hunter, Mage, Monk, Paladin, Priest, Rogue, Shaman, Warlock and Warrior. So, in World of Warcraft, you're kind of split up into three roles. You've got tank, you've got DPS, and you've got healer. So some classes can do them all, some can only damage, some can, um, only priests can do two healing. So um, you have to decide what kind of role you'll want to fill. Tanking is where you take all the damage for the group and the healers heal you. Damage, you just kill people. Healers, you heal everyone. So we'll start with Death Knight. They can tank with blood and they can do damage with frost and unholy. Blood is very satisfying to play. You sort of play like a vampire. So you take a lot of damage, uh, you use a two-handed weapon, but you heal for a lot of damage as well. So every time you're getting hit, you build up this ruin power and then you can heal uh, by hitting the enemy in front of you. And you are like only melee, really. Well, you've got a bit of ranged stuff, but you're mainly melee. Um, you get a ruin weapon that can fight for you, that'll mimic your spells, so that's pretty cool. But if you like vampires, if you like, you can summon these little blood worms, like if you use abilities, these little worms come out and attack for you and they, they steal health off the enemy. It's pretty satisfying to play. With Shadowlands, we're in like the Shadow Realm, it's undead vibes. I think the Death Knight and the Paladin, they kind of fit the most for the expansion. The expansion, a couple of expansions ago, was Legion, where you could play Demon Hunters and Warlocks because it was like their kind of aesthetic for that expansion so if you are into like matching the aesthetic of the expansion death knight and paladin seems to be like ones that make the most sense to me i will be leveling the death knight because it's so fun um but this is what we're trying to figure out this is like which clan which class fantasy vibes with you so with frost that's your damage spec or one of the damage specs You've got two one-handed weapons, or you can use a two-handed weapons, but in general it's two one-handed weapons. You do a lot of ice spells, um, Howling Blast is pretty cool, you're going to see lots of crits, lots of big numbers. You get an ability where you can send out a dragon to breathe frost on everyone, very satisfying to play. Um, Unholy is a pet class, you summon a lot of zombie ghouls um, to like come out and fight for you. You can get a skeleton that shoots next to you while you're killing stuff. You put a lot of diseases on people, you can summon a gargoyle. So if you like summoning loads of things, Unholy is for you and just whittling away at people. But it's, it's very satisfying to play. All of these specs are feeling good at the minute, so do with that what you will. Demon Hunter, another really fun class to play for me. So you're quite agile, you've got a lot of mobility. You can double jump, the only class that can double jump, and then you can glide, so you sprout these wings, and you can glide from high places. Very satisfying to play. You can dash about, you can do backflips, you can shoot laser beams out of your eyes, so if you're in, if you're like Superman, you'll like this guy. Um, what else can you do? They throw out glaives, and they're just, they've got war glaives, so they're very, like, elfy, dashy about a spinny. Pretty satisfying to play. These only have two specs that you can play. One's Havoc, which is a damage spec, and the other is Vengeance, which is a tank spec. So if you're into that, they'll be good for you. Um, Druid, we've got... These are the most flexible classes. So they can be a tank, they can be a healer, they can be a ranged DPS, or they can be a melee DPS. So they're the only class with four specs. So Guardian is a tank when you turn into a bear and you just swipe at everyone. You're proper tanky, you've got a load of elf. Pretty satisfying. You've got the Resto, where you throw out all these nature spells, like they tick away on people. Rather than doing like a big cast time with a big heal, you like put these healing dots on people, so it'll just tick away. Like you just have like green flowers all around you while you heal. It's pretty fun. Um, you get to transfer all of these druid specs, allow you to transform into loads of different um, animals. So you can be like a bear, you can be a crow to fly about, or an owl, whatever you want to change it to. You can be a cat to go into stealth. Um, and then obviously the different specs so like you, with balance which is the ranged one you can be a boomkin and that's like casting powerful spells from far away and you fly it's like solar slash moon aesthetic so a bit of the sun a bit of the moon um very satisfying to play and they're very flexible and they can do a lot they've always got something to do somewhere and then finally there's feral which focuses more on the, the cat play style so you'll you'll be in stealth a lot you'll bleed the target a lot um, so if that's your kind of play style, you'll like them. Hunter, 
Another one that I'm probably going to level first. Um, you've got... Uh, you can have Beast Mastery. All of these specs for Hunter are DPS. They can't tank, but they're very good at solo content. So with the Hunter, you can have um, Beast Mastery where you can have a pet, which does a lot of the work for you. But you can also have two pets, which is very satisfying. It just looks great when you've got like a polar bear and a parrot next to you and they're doing all your work for you. You can make them angry and grumpy to like make them stronger. Um, that's about it for Beast Master. It is, it's simple to play, but it feels very nice to play. Um, and then obviously there's talents which can make it more complicated and you can get like crows to like come down and fight mobs for you That's there's so many satisfying spells in all of them now Hunters can also lay loads of traps so you can freeze people in traps. You can put sticky traps down um, You can there's something called stampede where you can just send out a zoo of animals for like 15 seconds So these this zoo of animals just runs out and hits people um, Very satisfying. I know I keep saying satisfying, but they just are um, marksmanship is the next one that plays like a sniper so you can choose to leave your pet at home and you can get um, you've got aim shot which is like a long precise shot which does a lot of damage one of the coolest things I find for marksman is in one of the PvP talents you can get something called sniper shot so that allows you to shoot from up to 60 yards away. So you can be so much further than everyone else and still be in the fight. And what Sniper Shot does, it allows you to then um, be ranged. It allows you to shoot more arrows at the 60 yard range for a couple of seconds. So you can do Sniper Shot into Aim Shot. And then finally, like your range will go back down to 40 yards, which is where most of the casters chill. So if you want to be a sniper, marksmanship's where to go. Um, if you like pushing people off map off the environment so like on lumber mill you can knock people off the map or in either storm you can put people into the void or just like kiting as well so if you prefer running around and um, running away from people and shooting and kiting these are very kitey which is a, such a fun play style if you're into that so you can get a high explosive trap in PvP, so you put that on the ground, it's some mine that shoots up into the air, blows people up and sends them flying, and they can fly off the map and kill themselves, it's so good. Um, there's a few, there's a few um, classes that can do stuff like that. Druid can use Typhoon to push people off the map, uh, Demon Hunter don't have anything like that. Death Knights have something called Death Grip, which is amazing, they can like just pull people in and then start beating the face. Um, and then you can get a talent which makes that keep resetting if you get a kill so you can just chain pull all these people in and just whack face like death knights like bringing the fight to you um, but they can like they don't have much mobility um, druid has a lot of mobility demon hunter has a lot of mobility hunter has a lot of mobility um, try to think what else for the hunter um, survival I've not played much survival. I am just, I'm going to probably level a survival just so I can get my head around the spec. But the idea behind survival is you've got a pet with you and you use your melee weapon rather than like your bow or your gun. So you can just get up close and fight with your pet and you do a lot of traps, you do a lot of poisons and you scrap. It's very, a lot of people play this in PvP so you can like kite people and you can survive. So it's in the name really. Um, I'll probably think of more. Uh, I'll just come back. I'll just scroll back up in a minute. Well, so we got we got the mage. So mage, I played this in like ugh, Legion or Warlords of Drainer or something. Like the mage is very satisfying. Sometimes, like I I find I get bored of casters, especially the mage. Like a warlock's the warlock's more satisfying to me. Um, but the mage, if you like if you like being a wizard or a wizardette, if you like being a witch, whatever. You've got Arcane, which is purple, purple vibes. You shoot these like purple magic balls at people. You've got Arcane Missiles. Um, it's very damagey, very mana intense. Um, and it's like, it, it does a lot of damage. Fire, you shoot fireballs, you burn people. You send a meteor down from the sky to like hit people. Very satisfying. Frost Mage, you can summon a water elemental that shoots out frost bolts for you. You kite a lot. Um, you get these like icicles that appear over you and then you can like merge them all into one and fire this giant icicle at people That feels really really good um, I'll probably have some more for them when I can think of it um, But yeah mage I'm, I'm just not that interested in especially with how much they're played in WoW classic I'm kind of burnt out from mages uh, Monk I've just hit max level on Monk. I've been playing with my girlfriend up to um, through TBC. So there's a time walking campaign you can do now. And we've leveled a Monk Warlock. So the Monk, 
I've been playing Windwalker, which is the damage one, is very squishy. Like, I'm taking a lot of damage, but I can also heal a lot, whereas my girlfriend who's on a Warlock, she can just face tank everything, and she just does so much damage, and her pet does a lot. Like, the Warlocks are in such a good spot. Um, very beginner-friendly uh, Warlocks, but it's like the big... The Warlock is like the Hunter of the casters, whereas the Hunter's like physical DPS rather than like spell DPS. You're just like shooting people. But Windwalker... You can summon free copies of yourself and they'll copy your moves and oh my god there's so many cool things you can do so you you spawn three of your copies then you can do this thing where you just all karate chop so they're all in a triangle just karate chopping like this then you can throw out this massive lightning tiger called zwen or something he comes out he starts battering people you can start doing spinning crane kicks you use your fists and your feet your weapons sat on your back the entire time you use like the life energy of the universe to like fuel your attacks when you kill people these little red ball these little water balls pop up so then you can heal yourself by running over these water balls um the demon hunter as well when the demon hunter starts hurting people these purple balls start fracturing off and if you run over them they heal you whereas with the monk if you kill someone it leaves like a water ball there you can run over it and it heals you miss weaver is the healing spec it's it's enveloping mist like you're doing a lot of green bouncy ball type stuff you've got like a big mist like a big green line of mist that you send to people um i haven't played that much but when i did play it it was nice to play it felt good um brewmaster is the tank spec so what you do with this is you throw like kegs out you breathe fire out of your mouth like you've just drank a, a nasty brew you're very tanky you kite a lot you've got a lot of mobility um and you've got a mechanic called stagger which no other tank has so when you get hit Rather than feeling it straight away, because you're drunk off your head, you'll feel it later, so your healer has time to heal you, but you take more damage than people who would wear plate, for example. So they wear leather like the Demon Hunters, so they're quite squishy, but they, um, like I say, they, they reduce a lot of the damage they're taking, and it staggers over time. The Demon Hunter's also in leather when that tanks, but it gets a lot of self-healing, uh, so it's kind of like the Death Knight. Like The Death Knight self-heals the most, then the... Uh, demon hunter self heals after that and then the monk like self heals and then you start getting to like the paladin and the warrior and the druid where they're just like tanky gods like they wear plate they've got a big ass shield they turn into a bear they've got loads of elf um so i'll probably there's probably more i can think of these for later um i'll just roll up when i get an idea paladin so i've just started leveling one of these got it to like level 30 i have been playing protection and what they've done to this is amazing. Like Paladins used to be such a meme class and now the, the spec just feels amazing, especially Prot. Um, so you've got something called Avengers Shield where you throw out this like shield, this bouncy shield. So it bounces to him, bounces to him, bounces to him, makes a proper satisfying like metal clunk. And you can get like an ability which lets you spam that three times. So you just send in this like Avengers Shield. So it's bump, 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 bump. Really fun to play. You use Consecration. So you put like... Um, holy lava on the ground and then you can send these hammers out so you, you press it and a hammer spins around you and it goes like out in a spiral and it hits everyone around you very cool to play there's always a button to press you've got um, in between your comps so you build up these combo points and once you get to like three you can either heal yourself or heal a teammate or so when you press the hammer you get a combo point you get a combo point you get a combo point when you have used when you've got three of them you heal your teammate you heal you or you can shield bash the enemy in front of you to do damage and then it gives you some armor so there's always something you can be doing and it's like if you've if everyone's on full health you just do damage if you're about to die you can heal yourself rather than doing some damage so very fun to play holy paladin um strong heals like they just they, rather than doing like heals over time like druid they just do like castle they get the bible out or they get a book out and they start like reading out of this book and they're in plate and they've got this shield and they're like millie a millie healer and this they, they, oh, it's so good like they'll start casting out of the book and it's just a very satisfying anim animation like and they'll just do these these big heals retribution I kind of went off this like straight away like there's I felt like I mean I was only playing it for, like for the first 15 levels so there wasn't much to do but I literally had two buttons like it's like press this button press this button and then that was it but I imagine it does get more complex when you get divine storm and everything but 
Um, I've not played it because protection was just that much fun and did that much damage. And you, the best thing about the tank specs when you're leveling, you can just pull like 15 mobs and just tank them all and feel like a beast. Whereas when you play the damage ones, you can only pull a few, but you do a lot of damage. Like you just kill each one fast. Whereas protection, pull everything in, AOE it down with all your hammers and all your Avenger shields. Just very satisfying. Um, Priest, I've not played much Priest. I've played with people who play Priest, so... Um, I was playing Warlords of Draenor the other day while I was leveling my Warlock and I just randomly MMO grouped with this random priest that was playing Shadow and we just quested for like two hours at like 4am in the morning, like 4am. So that was, that was super fun and he was playing Shadow and they put like strong mine, so there's a there's mine blast which does like a big chunk of damage to the target and then he put like dots on it and then he'd start like sending this laser beam at him like sucking its soul, like destroying its mind and as he's doing it, these shadows of himself are like floating out and smacking into the enemy and when he goes into like void form he gets these like whispers, like this ooh from the void, like so cool. Um, other, so the, this is the class that has two heals and one DPS. So Holy is very aim, like angelic. So when you die on WoW, you go to like a graveyard and there's like a big angel there. And you can actually turn into this angel when you die, if you die as Holy. And you do these fat heals. You can do like Holy Fire, which is like, but like a, a big laser beam of light and fire that smacks into the enemies. And you just do these giant healing spells. Whereas Discipline... And this is a this is a really cool healing class. So you you do you do damage to heal. So you'll put like a, a protective bubble on your teammate, and then you'll start doing damage to a mob, and that damage then heals your teammate. So it's it's quite tricky to play, but it's fun and it's challenging. So if you're in for a bit of a challenge, discipline priest, and then if that doesn't work, you can just switch to holy and just do god heals. And then if that, if you want to whisper to the void, do shadow, which is just really cool. I'm probably going to level a shadow priest. That's my last one I've got to level, so shadow priest is next for me. Rogue, my original, like, this is the first one I ever played. I just love, I love being in stealth. So the main thing with these is they have dual wield and daggers so you're like you're stabbing people in the back you're in the shadows you can stay stealthed and invisible you pickpocket you put poisons on your weapons you can stun people forever you can run off and re-stealth and you take you pick the fights with a rogue it's like a like the feral druid is similar like the feral can go in stealth but the rogue is just in a class of its own so Oh, there's assassination and subtlety which is like the dagger specs and then there's outlaw which is like a pirate spec and you get like a gun you get like swords maces whatever you want to use but assassination and subtlety you use daggers and oh they're just they are they're really good but then if if they've got weird managing like if you go into stealth your action bars change so you've got to like get over the hurdle of managing your action bars if you're a beginner player the managing of your action bars will be quite annoying i find it annoying after leveling five people without it and i've made one of these from the beginning but once you get over that hurdle like they feel crap at the start but once you, once it starts clicking oh my god the possibilities are endless like if you like being solo if you like world pvp and staying in the shadows and picking your fights like a rogues for you so assassination, you've got a daggers and there's something called mutilate and it's like a double stab, very satisfying, the icon is beautiful. Um, you put a lot of poisons on, you put a lot of bleeds on and you slow like switch between targets and overall they're very, they're very fun to play. Subtlety is on the stealth side as well, like you, you can use something called shadow dance where you go in and out of stealth while you're in combat. So with stealth, you can only do it out of combat. Whereas in subtlety, you can go in and out of stealth while you're in combat. So you can do like your cheap shot, you can do like your ambush and expect big crits, um, long stuns, like quite fast in stealth. Uh, you've got shadow step, which TPs you behind your target. You've, you're basically a CC bot, which does a lot of damage. So you pair well with like mages, um, casters, anyone that does big damage, you hold them in place while also doing damage, but then your mates can get even bigger damage on them. So if that's your style, you'll love it. Outlaw is very piratey, so you have something called Roll the Bones, which you roll these dice and you get a random buff for 45 sec for It's like a 45 second cooldown, you get a random buff. And you've got a pistol, you've got a, a stun with your pistol as well, and... 
yeah, that's uh, there's a it is fun. It's AOE. You can do Blade Fury and Adrenaline Rush, so you, you've got energy on a rogue. So you can pop Adrenaline Rush, and your energy just comes back faster and faster. So you can just go absolutely mental for a bit. Um, but yeah, I'll probably I'll probably think of some more things for rogue later. Shaman, I've just started playing a Shaman. I got it to like level thirty. Elemental feels great compared to what it was. Like, oh my god, there's Lava Burst, super satisfying. It's the talents that make enhancement good for me. So there's something where you can make rocks fly out and just hit targets as you're hitting people with your spells, like as extra chunk damage. You can press something which just sends this like lightning laser beam at people, like it just bounces between them like five times. Um, you have like totems, you're very spiritual, you're connected to the elements, so you've got like earth, fire, water, um, the other one, I can't remember. <laughs> and um, you've got resto, enhancement, and elemental. So elemental is like casting. Um, enhancement is melee, so you're up close and personal, and restoration is healing. I've not played much resto, but they put totems down, they do big chain heals on people, they can bloodlust the entire group, all the shams can bloodlust the entire group, which makes everyone like on steroids for like a minute. It's very good. Um, but a f mage can do that, I'm pretty sure hunter can do that, a few can do that. Um, enhancement. You've got a sword, you've got a weapon in each, not a sword, you've got like a mace or an axe in each hand. You can, I've not dived down these much, but in the old days you could like summon these wolves to fight for you. You've got all these lightning strikes and lava lash, like if you like hitting people with elements and like enchanting your weapons with like wind fury so you can hit someone and then a chance to hit them like three times and it just like does this cool whirlwind effect. You can put like fire totems down to shoot fire at people. Um, I don't know that much about shamans, but from what I've been playing, the elemental is super satisfying to play. Enhancement will probably get better later, but I'll just try that when I'm a higher level, when I've got more abilities, and I actually have a one-handed weapon. Warlock, I've just hit 50 on these. Um, so you can summon a load of demons. Um, you've got Affliction, Demonology, and Destruction. Demonology lets you summon just an insane amount of demons. So you can get an army of imps that just throw fireballs at people. And then if you've got like 10 of them out, you can then throw all those imps at an enemy and they just explode on the enemy. It's very satisfying. You can get a fell guard, which charges in and starts doing a whirlwind. You can summon these dreadstalkers, which is like two dogs that fly at them. You can summon like a tiger that comes out. And then you can summon some like weird floating eye that like extends how long all your demons are out um and this you can do something called a never portal which as you spell soul as you spend soul shards even more demons run into the fight so this is like the the hunter and the unholy death knight like if you want to just summon a load of beings to do your bidding for you you'll like that Warlocks can summon people, they can put health stones for the group, so you can get like a potion out of them which heals you. You can battle res and put a soul stone on people, so if someone dies, or if you're about to die, you can put a soul stone on you, and when you die, you can just res yourself. Um, druids can combat res. Uh, a lot of these, most of the heal, all of the healers can res, but only some can do it in combat. Um, mages from before. They can portal all over the place. They can make food for people. Um, so if you like providing for people, if you like teleporting around, if you like convenience, you can do that. Warlocks can summon people to them, so they're very useful for that. Uh, what else? Destruction. This is like the magiest part of the Warlock spec. So you do giant hitting spells. So you'll send out this chaos bolt that just and annihilates your target you can have like a succubus out which like charms the target holds them in place and then you can blast them with a big spell you put like fire on them and then you blow up that fire on them you can do a giant storm which is shadow fury um very if you like big hitting spells and you like demons you'll like warlock affliction what this is is it puts a lot of dots on the targets and then you've also got a demon out for this um but you can you can extend the duration of them dots as well, so you just put as many dots on as many targets as possible, and you just watch everyone like melt away. So if you like that, it's kind of like Unholy Death Knight in a way. Um, you put a lot of diseases, you put a lot of damage over time effects on them, and it just slowly melts everyone around you. Warrior with last one. So the Warrior, you've got Protection, you've got Arms, and you've got Fury. Protection, you've got a Sword and Shield, very tanky. You've got a lot of damage mitigating effects, so you can do like Shield Block, which makes you block for a while. I don't know that much about it. Um, you work with Rage, so as you get hit, your Rage builds up. As you hit people, your Rage builds up. 
Arms is with a two-handed weapon, so you can do massive swings with your two-handed weapon. You can spin about, you can just hit like an absolute truck. You can charge at enemies. Um, I don't play that much Warrior, it's just not my style. I, I prefer the Death Knight and Paladin and stuff. But with Fury, this is probably the coolest spec for me. You can have a two-hander in each hand. So you're an absolute grot with a two-handed weapon in each hand and you're just spinning all over the place. You're like fueled with rage. You're always angry. You're jumping and leaping all over the place like the Incredible Hulk. Like that's the aesthetic you're going for with a warrior. So there's probably things I've missed. Um, I'll probably do some more clips after this if I've forgot anything, but that's a quick overview of the kind of class fantasy for each one and you can decide from now like have a look at other videos, read them yourself, but that's a quick overview of each class so let me know down below in the comments what you're going to be leveling first which one do you vibe with the most who have you played in the past what are you going to play in the future what main alts are you going to take up with you etc etc just comment something in the comments anything you want um thanks for watching hasta la vista peace oh i'm, I'm going to be streaming all of shadowlands so it's going to launch tonight so i'll put this video out and then if you want to see a stream i'm going to be streaming with my girlfriend and maybe some friends in a guild so you can come along join the guild join in with us we're on dragon blight on eu uh we're on the hard for the hard no alliance scum um keep away alliance so thanks for watching join my discord click my links um subscribe you know the drill um it really does help thanks peace